Welcome to today's class on mathematics. So we are still doing the introduction to calculus. Okay, that is we are still working on functions. So today we are going to be looking at the inverse of a function, and we have some examples here that we use to explain this inverse of a of a function. Okay, are we together? All right. So let's go. On. Now we say we have this question to find the inverse of the following. We have these functions. These are different functions that we have here to solve. So the first one we have is y to be equal to 5x. Okay, if y is equal to 5x, we should find the inverse. All right. Now what we do in the inverse is this: we look at the function, we make the independent variable the subject formula and later on we interchange okay we interchange the uh, independent variable with the dependent words variable all right so let's look at it let's see the first one here here we have y is equal to 5x okay now if we make x a subject formula this will be equal to x is equal to y all over what Five. That means we divide through by what? By five. Okay. Now we have made as a subject formula. So the next thing we do is to interchange. Okay. We interchange x and what and y. So if we do that, then the inverse y will be given as y inverse will be equal to now this place of y x will take it. Then we have all of our what? five. So we write that y inverse is equal to one. So when representing an inverse, we use this symbol to represent an inverse. For some cases, you can see it as this. Okay. So this means the inverse of the of the function. Okay. So that is for the first one. Then for the second one here, we have that y is equal to two x plus five. Now we are going to make x the subject from the right. So what we are going to have is that. Five will move over to this side. Okay, what we have left is two x is equal to y. If the sign positive crosses, it becomes negative, right? So we divide through by two. So if we divide through by two, then therefore we are going to have that uh, x because two here we cancel out to x will be equal to y minus five all over what? two. Are we together? So we have make s the what the subject formula. Now the next thing we do is to interchange. So we interchange x and y. So if we interchange x and y from here, okay, we have that first of all we have that x is equal to y minus five all over one two. So when we want to interchange, this will be giving us the y inverse is equal to this will no longer be y it will not change towards x so it's as if we bring x to this side and bring our y to this side it becomes y inverse so we have x minus what 5 all over what 2 so that is the solution to the what to the second one so let us solve for the third one Alright, for the third one there, we have that f of x is equal to 3x plus 4. Now here we are going to put our y to be equal to f of what x. Of course, y is equal to f of what x because it's a function that depends on what? On x. Okay? So if we have taken note of that, therefore we can write here to be y is equal to 3x plus what? Plus 4, right? Good. Now we make x the subject formula. Before we move over to this side, we are going to have y minus 4 is equal to 3x. Okay. Now we want to divide through by 3. So that if we have 3x divided by 3, and we have y minus 4 divided by what? By 3. X will 3 will cancel out 3. X will remain. So we have that x is equal to y minus 4. Okay. Now all divide by 3. Now we want to interchange. So the next thing we do is to what? interchange x and what? and y. So if you interchange, you are going to get the y inverse. Okay, here will be x now, no longer y. 
So they are x minus 4 all divided by what? By 3. So this gives us the what? The inverse. So sometimes you might see your answer as f of x inverse is equal to x minus 4 all divided by what? 3. So the result is still the same. Okay. Alright, so the other one we have the we have f of x is equal to exponential x plus 1. Okay, now this is the for number 4. This question is for number 4, and this one is for number 3. So that you take note. So for number 4, we have that f of x is equal to this. We have already established that f of x is y, right? Is equal to exponential x plus 1. Now this is different from number 5. Number 5, we have it to be plus 1 as a power. Okay, but this time it means that the exponential don't function with the one. Okay, it's different from what this. It means that the exponential is a function of x plus one. So, but here we have it to be what to be this. So we have a different result from question five. We are going to see that in a little time. Okay. So now this will be we make x the subject formula first of all. What will I do? I will move this one over to this side. It's possible because it's not a function that depends on exponential. Okay, so one move over to this side becomes y minus one is equal to exponential root x. Good. Now we want x not exponential s. What do we do? We can take the lean of both sides. Okay, that is your natural log reading. So if you take the lean of both sides, you're going to have lean of y minus 1 is equal to lean of exponential what? x. Now why are we taking the lean of both sides? Because the lean can cancel out the what? The exponential when they are acting as a product. Okay? So we can cancel out. So that what will remain is our, what? our x, which is equal to what we have in lean y minus what? 1. Are we together? Good. Now, this we interchange to get the inverse. Interchange x and y. What we are going to have is that this will be the inverse is equal to lean. Our y is now x, okay? Minus what? 1. So that gives us the what? The inverse of a, word, of a function. Okay. Now, the other one there we have, let's play this part. This is number 5. We have f of x is equal to exponential x plus 1, right? Which we know we have established that this is y is equal to exponential x plus 1. All the hours as power. Okay. Now, what we are going to do here is very simple. We can't move 1 over to the side because everything here is functioning on the word exponential. So what we are going to do is we directly take the lean of both sides because there is not, no constant or nothing here to move over. Okay, so this becomes we take the lean of both sides. So this will be the lean of y is equal to the lean of exponential x plus what plus one. Good. So you see that lean is going to cancel out what exponential. So what we have here is x plus 1 is equal to what we have here is the y. Okay, so now you can move your 1 over to this side so that it become x is equal to the y minus 1 minus 1. Okay, so it will be better if we open a bracket for the y to show that this function link is under y only. It's not the y minus 1. Or a function of this, okay. So we can do this so that we will not get confused. Then, if that is the case, we interchange since we have make um, x the subject formula, we interchange x and y and y. So if we interchange x and y, here becomes the inverse, right? Y inverse, then we have the here we want x minus what minus one. 
Okay, so I would prefer you put a bracket for this so that you don't get confused. So this will be the what the result. So you see the difference here. The results are not what the same. The results are not what the same. So you have to be careful when you are giving such kind of question. Okay. Now we have the other one, the, the sixth one, which is the last one there. Okay, let's do everything there. Okay, so we have that f of x that is for the sixth one there. We have f of x is equal to 1 plus log x to this e. Now we are going to write this as y is equal to 1 plus log x to this e. Okay, now this will give us that this is going to be, we move this one over to this side, we are going to have y minus 1 is equal to log x to base e. So all we are trying to do is to make x the subject formula here. Okay, that's what we are trying to do. So if you want to solve this, here is, you can write this, this is the lateral log reading of x, which we can write as mean of what? Of x, okay? They are the same thing. So if we write that that way, we are going to have Lin y minus 1 is equal to lin what? x because everything here is lin x so the point there is we want to make x the subject from the, then this will be exponential y minus 1 is equal to exponential lin what? x alright so exponential times lin x they will want to cancel out so that what we have is that x is equal to exponential y minus what? 1. Okay, so that means that if x is equal to exponential y minus 1, okay, then we can then write that this will be lin x is equal to lin exponential sorry this is our x so we interchange we have already gotten our x so we interchange our x and y okay so this will be our inverse y inverse is equal to exponential then here will no longer be y we have x minus what one so this becomes our what? inverse of the what function so that is the inverse of the function in that question so um, we are going to end the class here, but I have a bonus question for us. Let us try this at home. Okay, we have that y is equal to the 3 plus 5. So solve for this one. y is equal to the, sorry, this is the x, not the 3, the x plus what? Plus 5. Okay, so we stop here for today. So in our next class, we are going to look at the composition of a function and we'll see how we can compose two functions, okay, in the system. All right, so thank you very much.